Hello and welcome to the VC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are on the Faster 7 series where I teach you how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system. Now, in the first video, I went and I gave you an overview as to what we're going to be talking about in this video. Like I said, we're going to be uninstalling your current antivirus if you have a paid for antivirus at this moment in time. Most computers are packaged with either McAfee Security Suite or Norton Security Suite, Symantec Norton Security Suite. I'm gonna show you in this episode how to remove those so that in the next episode we can install a free antivirus software so that you don't have to worry about actually paying for the licensing. Now remember, this is freeware, it's not open source, so the antivirus software you're going to be installed needs to be used for personal use. If you're working on a comp company computer, you're technically not allowed to use this software. Uh, the antivirus software, I'm gonna tell you, you do have to have a paid for license. So, that being said, first thing I want you to do is I want you to click on the Start button on the bottom left-hand corner, and then we're going to go to the Control Panel. Now, the Control Panel has a couple of different options. They have a View By over here. It's Right now, it's at large icons. The default setting is typically View By Category. As you can see, it's kind of awkward how they have it arranged, in my opinion. I like the View By Large Icons, but since the majority of you have this setting, under Programs, we're going to select Uninstall a Program. Now this is going to give us a list of all of our programs we have currently running on our computer and it could be a, a wide array of what you might wire wide array of programs you might be running. Um, ignore the stop working thing. It's saying it's restarting because it's just being goofy to me. So I'm going to have to bring that back up here real quick. Sorry about that. Bring my control panel back up. Now let me go ahead and select on install program and it's come back up. Now what we need to do is we need to find your Norton, Symantec, or McAfee software. Uninstall all of your antiviruses. First of all, if you have more than one antivirus installed, you are actually doing a lot of harm to your computer. Like not damaging it, but you're slowing it down horribly. They have real-time scanners and they often conflict with each other if you have more than one antivirus installed. So just scroll down and for Norton products, it's typically going to be under S. And it's going to be Symantec. Obviously, they're in alphabetical order, but I don't have Norton installed. So it'll be under Symantec. Select the Norton Security Suite or Symantec Security Suite, and then you're going to click the Uninstall button at the top. Now, if it's not under Symantec, it will be under Norton Internet Security or something like that. So let me scroll up to the ends, and it will be in the end section. For those of you who are using McAfee, um, I do believe that it is under the M section. It'll be a McAfee Security Suite or something like that. And then select that and uninstall it. Now when you're running through the uninstaller, make sure that you remove all the products they have installed. Sometimes Symantec will install a second product. It says Symantec Norton Security Suite and then they'll have a Symantec Live Updater or Symantec Updater. You can remove the updaters as well just to make sure all that stuff isn't running in the background. So after you've uninstalled that, we're gonna move into the next video of actually installing a new free version of an antivirus. There's a couple of them you have to choose from. I'll tell you which one I prefer, um, but as always, it is free. So um, uh, remember that uh, it's, they aren't the best antiviruses in the market. The best antiviruses in the market are paid for. So remember, you're not gonna get perfect protection or the best protection, none of them are perfect, but you will get adequate protective protection for most of you. Now, if you're very concerned about viruses, get a paid for one. That's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install and what to install for a free antivirus software. Thanks again.